So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 50 of our Portsmouth career mode on the PS4 FIFA 15 and we've reached episode number 50 guys. This is like the major milestone in my career mode and uh, basically it's thanks to you guys that we've managed to get this far. I've never actually managed to achieve um, doing something like this before. To manage to do it for something like 50 episodes is something incredible and the only guys to thank for that is you guys. Because you guys are the ones that watch the videos, and you guys are the ones that subscribe and um, leave the comments, etc. And uh, if it wasn't for you guys, this series wouldn't be running, and I would not be making YouTube videos. But thanks to you guys, I'm really enjoying my time making the YouTube videos, and um, I'm hoping you're enjoying the series as well. So make sure, uh, obviously, if you're not enjoying the series, please make sure you let me know down below. But also, if you're liking the series, make sure to hit the like button down below as well, as then that shows your appreciation. But in the f first game of this episode, we do play uh, Swindon Town, and we were uh, actually winning 1-0 with a good free kick from Benzia. But unfortunately, in the 32nd minute, they do come back and score a very good goal to actually get back on level terms here. And uh, it was a little bit disappointing to be honest, that he had that much room on the edge of the box. But in the 50th minute, they get another good chance as a beaker runs on the wing, plays the ball to Smith. Smith has a good shot, but thankfully, our goalkeeper makes a world-class save to deny them in the 56th minute. But unfortunately, he couldn't stop this one as a, an open goal for their header there, as he wasn't going to miss from there. And unfortunately, we end up losing this game 2-1 to Swindon Town at home. And there are going to be quite a few uh, games in this episode. I believe there's five games in this episode um, and the live commentary at the end as well. Obviously, this bit isn't live, but the next bit after the games is then live commentary. But uh, in this game we did end up losing 2-1 uh, against Swindon which is a little bit disappointing to us but thankfully we do then get a um, the contract offer was accepted for uh, Andy Bartram which is always good to see uh, but unfortunately as well Christensen will be out for the rest of the season with a um, an an injury and he's going to be out for three weeks. A little bit disappointing about that one, but um, we do have to go into our next few games. And the next game we do go into is up against Peterborough. And we have one of our strongest squads out against Peterborough. Actually, here we have Hurtado, Armstrong, Holmes, Barton, Fodger, and Azog. Then we have Hernandez, Winter, and uh, obviously our goalkeeper in, in goal. But uh, very poor defending there from us, to be honest. The goalkeeper, I thought, should have caught that, but thankfully we did then manage to clear the ball off the line. And they do then uh, nearly get a goal in the 45th minute, just before half time. But thankfully they didn't. But they did then get the goal in the 63rd minute, as um, they do get there just before our goalkeeper, after he'd made a fantastic save. And they slot it underneath his body in the 65th minute and put them themselves 1-0 up. So um, our performance-wise was not good so far and um, it had to improve and thankfully Armstrong does get a very good goal here and our form does improve just a little bit and hopefully we can try and get the three points after we've now got the upper hand in this game. But there Armstrong scores a really, really good goal. It's just going to be a shame that we're not going to have the amount of money to actually buy him at the end of the season uh, because obviously... There's Winter as well that we want to try and buy, but um, we're not going to have 1.3 million at the end to try and buy him, which is going to be a little bit disappointing to be honest because I would like to keep him at the club. But um, next season, we do uh, actually have Leon Best coming in. I know he's nowhere near um, probably what um, Armstrong is going to be, but uh, I do believe he's probably around about 63, 64 rated. So he's still going to be a decent player, to, a player or striker to actually come on and play for us, which would be good to see. But um, in this game up against Not Nottingham County, or not I can't even Notts County, sorry, uh, Nottingham County, uh, Notts County, we do actually find ourselves one 0 down within the first fourth minute, and uh, our form was just all over the place. We didn't, we couldn't defend to save our lives, but thankfully we do try and get ourselves back in level terms here, and we do as uh, Dembele skips past the defenders, he leaves two for dead, has a good shot, and leaves the goalkeeper on the floor of a really good shot in the 8th minute and uh, pretty much straight after they had scored we went upfield uh, Dembele on his own uh, skinned a few of their defenders and uh, scored a very crucial goal which actually managed to get us back on level terms and within the 6th minute we're back on level terms. As you see there, the uh, change of pace and the change of direction managed to fool their defenders. And in the twelfth, um, in the eighth minute, he managed to pick up his twelfth goal of the uh, campaign so far. But so uh, we do then get another really good goal here. So Hurtado scores a real, real good goal, and uh, I'm really grateful as well that Hurtado is going to be a player that we're going to be able to keep because, as you guys know, we did actually sign him on a. Um, because he was actually a free agent and we managed to sign him and I believe he was around about 66 or 67 rated when we managed to pick him up but now he's a 68 rated and he's gone up three ratings which is always really really good to see and we do pick up our third goal in this game here as Dembele gets uh, through breaks the line of defence and was through one on one with the goalkeeper and of course he's going to finish that one into the back of the net in the 75th minute to put us 3-1 um, up and we did have time to get another goal in the end of this game um, as you can see just after the replays um, we do actually 
actually pick up the ball and uh, thankfully we do get another goal as it was Dembele to get that one as well as he does have very very good control and he finesses the ball past the defender into the back of the net or past the goalkeeper I should say into the back of the net in the 85th minute and uh, we ended up winning this game 4-1 against Notts County and the result was going to us and thankfully we did thankfully manage to pick up a three point win and a victory because we've lost two games on a trot. We drew one and we're just not in good form of late. But I believe it could be because we already know we've won or going to get promoted. We've already got promoted, uh, automatic promotion. So. I just believe it's just something psychological that really didn't urge me to try and try my very, very best to try and get the the uh, three points every single game. And um, I was trying to score some fancy goals as well, to be honest. And a lot of the time it just wasn't working. And um, if it was more important games, I would be trying uh, more simple stuff. But Hernandez scores an absolutely fantastic goal in this game. He hits the under the side of the crossbar and he rushes it into the back of the net. And I could not believe it that our left back or centre back, whatever you want to call him, because he does play left back for me sometimes. He does play centre back, but he's scores a fantastic goal with his left foot and he flies it right into the top corner and they couldn't even place it any better with his hands it was so perfect and he gets enough power and that on it thankfully Maxim just gets out of the way it hits the underside of the crossbar and finds its way into the back of the net and our number 16 picks up a crucial goal for us there that uh, puts us 1-0 up against uh, Yeovil Town but unfortunately for us they do get a really good chance uh, for them here or we actually get a really good chance before they do actually and uh, they do actually get a player sent off because Hurtado was running for on goal and um, I was a little bit disappointed as well because I thought I would have scored that one because Hurtado was in great form as well. But the number three, Smith, was off the park and um, I suppose the referee had no other option just to send him off. But uh, from the free kick, we do try and curl it around the ball but unfortunately Hurtado doesn't get good enough contact on the ball and it goes harmlessly wide out for a goal kick. And Hernandez here in the 40th minute tries to get another goal to Alonso Tally but this time the goalkeeper does make a good save and manages to clear the ball out wide. But in the 63rd minute, Edwards picks up the ball, he plays it through to Barrett, he cuts inside and has a really good shot and unfortunately for us, they get themselves back on level terms and that unfortunately is how the game finished. We ended up drawing the game 1-0 against 10-man Yo and uh, we were all on top of that game as well nothing was really happening we do get a good chance in the 90th minute as McAvoy comes through has a good shot but unfortunately nothing comes out it comes to Armstrong and the goalkeeper makes a really good save and they do then manage to get the ball clear and another two points dropped and to be honest it was a little I was a little bit disappointed that we didn't get that one to be honest but we go into our last game of the season away from home against Sheffield United who are currently sitting in fourth place and our league victory had now been confirmed Mathematically, no one could catch us. Even though we've been in an awful form of late, no one can possibly catch us. And it was guaranteed that today we would be lifting the League Power Trophy or the League One Trophy. And I was just ecstatic going into this game as well. And we do actually get a very good chance to go 1 0 up. And we do get taken down by the Sheffield United goalkeeper. And uh, it was Dembele to step up to take the penalty. And uh, obviously Dembele got taken down by Long. And uh, there's no way that the referee had any other option but to give a penalty. And from the penalty, I wasn't sure whether who to let to take it because obviously I wanted a lot of people to take this penalty because obviously it could have been the last goal we'd score in this league. I believe I do take it with Hurtado, but I'm not 100% sure. I was thinking about Ledson, I was thinking about Barchin, but in the end, Hurtado takes it and he slots it past the goalkeeper into the corner of the net and we found ourselves 1-0 up against Sheffield United in the 55th minute and that could be the goal, that, um, or the, our last goal in the league that could secure another three points and guarantee us another trophy which would be the league one title and he picks up his ninth goal of the league they do come very close in the 80th minute actually with Cuvillier plays ball out wide to Gunter Gunter comes inside has a, a plays ball to Cuvillier has a good shot but thankfully our goalkeeper makes a good save and then their rebound goes miles over the bar in the 90th minute they get the chance to get themselves back on level terms it's Flynn through and the goalkeeper there makes a fantastic save and the ball then goes out wide for a corner so in the 90th minute it was we were trying to defend for our lives here because we really did not want to uh, draw this game. We wanted to go out with a bang and win this game against Sheffield United, who are currently sitting in fourth place. Their goalkeeper did actually come up for this one, and then something really weird happened. I don't know how the ball didn't manage to go in the back of it. I don't know how the referee didn't actually give a penalty, but he didn't. Another corner come in. Their goalkeeper was up. Cuvillier tries to swing the ball in the box. We do come out. We do then manage to get the ball clear with our goalkeeper. He hoofs the ball upfield. It was a foot race then between Armstrong and Harris. Who was going to get their first? It was actually Harris that gets there first. I thought Armstrong could have, might have got there. He was very, very close, as you see there. He nearly caught him up in the dying stages. But that was actually how the game finished. And we lifted the trophy. And we had done it once again. 
another victory celebration for us. Bartram, Armstrong and Dembele there in a trio celebrating as they couldn't believe it that they've actually been promoted from League 2. Now they've been promoted from League 1. Now we're in the Championship and next season we'll be starting in the Championship. And hopefully we can do very, very well and hopefully we'll get quite a big budget as well to try and spend it on some players. But you have to wait and see and I do really hope that... Um, We'll just have to wait and see what happens next season. But um, we are going to be passing on to the live commentary part of this episode now. I really do hope you enjoyed this five-game episode. Obviously, the live commentary bit will be coming up now. So thank you so much for watching this bit. And um, I'll pass you on to the live commentary very, very soon. But uh, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time very, very, very soon for episode number 51 of our Portsmouth career mode on the PS4 FIFA 15. So what's going on guys and this is now the live uh, part of the commentary so we do start with our youth squad monthly report which we're going to go ahead and promote because he looks very very promising between a 68 and a 72 he looks like he could be really really special so we go ahead and offer him a contract and um, basically you guys asked me to promote it in um because you guys said to me, you need to try and promote him in May because in May he will have his stats will suddenly go up by a lot. And that is true. He used to be a 39 overall and now he's gone up to a 68 to a 72 overall. So he looks an extremely good player. And we do also get 25,000 for our League Football 1 performance, which is absolutely ridiculous. As we managed to win the league and we only get 25,000. Uh, Reg Fodgden also says, I'm really not pleased to be stuck here and uh, not being selected. So I don't know why he's been playing quite recently. Uh, Butler the same thing as is Christensen so just going to go ahead and have that um, obviously we have the Wales stuff at the moment but we're also going to have a player of the month and the player of the month is Oldham Athletics don't know uh, the goalkeeper of the month is Colchester's goalkeeper and um, golden boot was for Doyle and the team of the competition was announced and um, very disappointing to be honest, not one of our players actually in team of the um, competition which is a little bit disappointing and the player of the competition was um, James so none of our players actually made anything big but we we'll just have to wait and see and the top goal scorers we'll just have to wait and the top goal scorers for the Football League 1, uh, Benzia was currently sitting in third place with 18 goals, so we nearly got the uh, top goal scorer, but unfortunately didn't, I was a little bit disappointing that he didn't, but um, still not too bad, Bartram as well, does very well to actually get 13, as does uh, Dembele with 14, and um, the assists, our best assist was at Dembele with 10, uh, clean sheets, obviously we weren't going to have many because our new goalkeeper did concede quite a few, but he did also make some very, very good saves as well. And uh, red cards and yellow cards don't really mean anything. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, progress, but before that, we will have a look at the, um, at the league table, which you'll be able to see now, if I can find it. Uh, yeah, here we go. So the league table... We currently did sit in first place and I can tell you now we won and as you guys already know because you see us lift the championship and actually there we won by 8 points, a very very good record there, only losing 4 games all season, drew 14 and won 28. We scored 85 goals um, which is second best in the league uh, behind Bournemouth who scored 90 which is very good and the team that actually went down were Scunthorpe, Hartlepool and Doncaster and Oxford I believe also went down and the other teams that so in the Barclays Premier League we had to see in the Barclays Premier League the teams that did actually go down were uh, Watford, QPR and Cardiff and the teams that will be going up will be Red and Wigan and Leicester probably but you don't know yet because the playoffs haven't been done yet but you have to wait and see but first of all we're going to progress uh, a little bit further on and see what happens and the contract off was then accepted by Nicholas Gorka our right back who looks very very promising I'm really looking forward to using him next season and hopefully he can do really really well with us and um we're just going to have a look here as we have to um, go ahead and uh, submit our squad. But actually there, this goalkeeper that we've got looks really, really promising. He's gone up two ratings. He's, I know he's 31 years old, but he looks very, very good. Uh, Vokes we will now have to promote because... And Gareth Bell is now a 91 rated. Absolute animal. As is Aunt Ramsey is also very good as well now. And the player we're going to have to go ahead and promote, we will have to take out... Uh, Richards because I don't suppose he could play and uh, bring in Vokes and that is going to be our squad four to try and get us in to the next round of the um I don't really know what this is what is it is it qualifiers must be the qualifiers but our group as you can see there are Ireland Poland and Bulgaria so 
Not too difficult, but hopefully we can try and get through that one. And the contract offer was then accepted for Nicholas Gorka. So we can just go ahead and uh, see what he's like. Um, if we choose Portsmouth, uh, if we go to Gorka and see how good he is. Let's uh, see if we can find him first. There we go. He's a 69 rated um, right back. And he's definitely going to be a first team player. And he's got five star weak foot. That is incredible. And um, as you see there, he's got short pass 87. He's got really good shots. Um, his curve, his crossing, his dribbling, his finishing is amazing. And so is his heading accuracy. And he looks like a real promising player that can maybe even play on the right um, mid as well. As he looks very, very promising. And I'm very pleased that we managed to get him into the squad. And uh, especially because he didn't cost us anything. And his wages are only 500 a week. As of you, as you guys probably know, that will uh, be going up. And um, as you see there, don't forget, we need to make a decision on whether we are going to take the purchase for Adam Armstrong. Unfortunately, we can't because we have not got the money to go ahead and bring him into the club. We can see what happened. I don't really know what this is going to do, but we offer him a contract. But obviously, we've got to pay for him as well. But we ain't got the money to pay for him. And um, Alex Winter as well. Uh, yeah, we can try and bring in Winter to the club as well because he looks pretty good. Or oh, he's played pretty well for us throughout the whole season. And uh, it would be good to see if he'd come into the club. But what I don't understand is, yes, their contract. Is that because their contracts are up? and that we now get to sign them, I'm not really sure. And the player returns from injury as Benzia, which is good because he did. He was out injured for a while. And uh, we just have to wait and see here. The contract offer was accepted for Adam Armstrong, which we do accept, but obviously, as you can see there, we don't have the money to uh, buy him. And I believe we don't have the money to buy Winter either, but uh, I believe we can try and adjust our wage budget to try and bring Winter into the club. Uh, the player conversations, obviously, Fodgerson says he wants to leave, and Butler and uh, Christensen are both saying thanks again. I don't know why they keep saying thanks. We're going to try and bring in, um, what's his name? Winter, if we possibly can, which I do believe we can, which would be good if we could. Um, Armstrong, it's going to be a little bit disappointing, to be honest, if we can't bring him in, but we'll just have to, that's just what you have to put up with. And um, we'll just have to try and bring in another striker next season. We're already having one come in in the likes of. Um, I can't remember his name now, but Joshua King could be, I'm not sure. Um, Armstrong was a very good player, he's only 19 and he's 67 rated and scored quite a good few goals for us. But um, eh, we didn't have the money to buy him, we knew we weren't going to have the money. But at least we actually managed to bring in uh, Winter and uh, Winter could be a very promising player for us to be honest. And um, that would also be very, very good. I think we're going to have to go ahead and skim these European um, games against Poland because obviously I don't really want to play them and um, I'm not really sure if I want to stay with manager of Wales anyway but we we'll just have to wait and see to see what the results are so we are playing Poland here and we managed to draw one all Vokes picking up the goal unfortunately for us Bale still not performing very well but hopefully as you see there Wales failed to impress our next game against Bulgaria we should definitely win this one as uh, Bulgaria did lose their own their opening game so it should be a comfortable win for us and uh, once again we just cannot beat them and uh, we're probably going to get sacked anyway but to be honest I'm not really bothered if I want to get sacked anyway because I'm now looking uh, to try and bring in a bigger international job because the Wales job just isn't really uh, meaning anything to me. I'd like to manage a nation a little bit higher like the likes of Colombia, Italy. Obviously, the big nations would be very good. I don't see why we're drawing against everyone. We can't seem to get a win. The player suspended is Neil Taylor, so um, the next game obviously will be... Um, without one of our next players but we'll just have to wait and see what happens and um, it looks like we'll be moving into the new season very very soon um, once again thank you so much because this is now the episode number 50 it's the first time I've ever reached an episode so high in my career mode before I'd like to thank you guys for that because you were the ones that have been watching and supporting the videos and um, I tried to do this video a little bit more special than usual because obviously I never really do special videos but this is the one and I just want to say thank you and um, that's why I decided to do a uh, video which is a little bit longer than usual, uh, quite a bit longer, but um, thank you. And um, Holmes is obviously going back to his club, we didn't really use him that well. Uh, Armstrong's going back, uh, Pogba is actually going back as well, as is Nick Orford has come back to us, which isn't a really good player anyway. And thankfully we have won the manager of the season award, which is always good to see. And we are now going to be moving into the next season. So the super season before the season started, the club set you the target to gain automatic promotion. Congratulations on fulfilling what was expected of you. It's been a good season for this football club. This makes us very confident that you are the man to keep leading the club forward. And um, unfortunately, an exit showing for the team in the domestic cup. Passing our cup. Congratulations to the players 
and the backroom staff. So that's actually it for this season. Once again, we've done another season with Portsmouth. We're going to be moving into our third season. I really do hope you have enjoyed this series so far, and I hope you're going to continue to enjoy it, and we just have to wait and see what happens next season. Hopefully, we can try and push for promotion once again. I know it'll be a lot more difficult this time because the championship is a lot uh, higher quality, and um, but I'm not sure whether you play the Johnson Paint Trophy as, as well in the... Um, lower in the championship as well so that would be good if we don't play that because the children's petro for me is a waste of time a waste of matches and a waste of fitness and you only get 50,000 for winning it because I won it as you guys know we beat um, I can't really remember who we beat but we beat them 1-0 at Wembley but that is actually it for this episode episode number 50 has now finished if you did enjoy it please make sure to hit the like button down below as it's very much appreciated and i hope to see you next time very very soon for the next episode of our portion of crew mode for an episode number 51 thank you so much for watching and bye bye